Okay, this is this this tutorial is gonna be scary. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is gonna be scary. We're gonna get into one of the core aspects of Java, and that's objects. Uh Java's an object oriented language, so objects are pretty fucking important. Um we've seen objects before such as uh the random object. Um yeah, we're basically gonna be doing shit like that. So let's get going. Uh we're actually going to go um make a new class. Uh, so you, you can either right click that, go new class, or you can hit this up here. We're gonna call this, um, I don't know, dog. Right, say we're making a game, right? And we want a dog in our game. We want, we want a few dogs, right? So what we need to do, we need to make a core dog object. And So we make a class called dog, and I'm going to introduce you to something called a constructor. A constructor's really, really hard to explain. Um, so just just follow along. Public dog, right? So what's every dog going to need, right? Um, every dog I think that we make will need uh, an x coordinate on the screen, a y coordinate on the screen, uh, a width, a height, um, and a path to its image, I guess pass to its image file I guess um, and, a, and a name I guess alright so ju just follow along trust me <laughs> so, so scary shit but just trust me okay. seven? Where, where did I get seven from? where in the hell did I get seven from? Oh my god, come on, there we go. Alright, I'm also going to introduce you to something called this, right? So say you've got a parameter, the same name as a variable, alright? Which one's the variable, and which one's the parameter? Because I want, uh, when we set the x, when, when we set, because this is kind of like a method, you'll see in a second, um, we're going to call this. Um, so when you supply x, Right, I want it to equal that, but these are both x, so how, what do we do? So what what we will do is we will go this dot x, and that's the variable x located in this class. This dot x, and it'll equal x. The normal x is the parameter. Alright? Awesome. So just repeat this. And I'll go through it in just a second. Y width, height, uh, Path name and for this side y. I was about to put seven again. What? <sighs> Remove the final from this and this and just whoops no just go go through this. Trust me. March on, I'll explain it. Trust me. Just this is gonna be a really long ass video. Alright, so now we're done with this class. Let's go back to main. We're gonna have a dog. We're gonna call it Rolo. I I I don't know. It's gonna be a new dog. I'm gonna give it an X of O, a Y of O and a width of 256 and a height of 128. I'm gonna give it a path of, I don't know, C Rolo.png. Um, and we're gonna give it its name Rolo. Alright, so what we've done is, if you remember correctly, we had a scanner. Alright, new you Remember that? This is basically the same shit, right? We've got the object, we've given it a name, this specific one. We can make more of these, make many dogs, We can call, but we have to call them different things. Right? They all have to be different. But they can all be dogs. Right? This particular dog right, is going to have a, a x of o, a y of o, width of 256, height of 128, and yeah. So, hold on, these parameters might be, uh, might be familiar. These parameters are actually here in the constructor. 
right? The constructor is basically what's called when you initialize the object, all right? Hopefully you're following with me. So, all right, now that we've got that, um, okay, so well, what about these? Well, what are these all about? Well, when you set these parameters, it needs to store them somewhere, so it stores them here, all right? Final, we'll go through in another tutorial, all right? It is on the list. Um, what about what about the all these gets? Get x will just return x. It's an int. Thank you, William Johnson. Thank you. So we can do rollo dot get x, and it will get us the x of this specific dog. So we're going to print that out, and it should return us with zero. And it works. Let's let's try it with get name. And it works. Now you can also set you can set the X and the Y, but you can't set the rest. Why is that? You'll find out in the future. For now, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.